going on, everyone? It's praying with your code. You find jewelry, sure, personal jeweler. Jewelers lie, gold doesn't. What does that mean? This is the number one most important thing you could apply to you guys as the consumer shopping around online or in stores when buying gold jewelry. So please watch this video in its entirety. With that being said, Let's get started. A lot of good jewelers out there. Most of them are good, honest jewelers trying to provide a product and service. But like I said in the prior clip, you guys are the consumers, meaning the other side of the table is the seller and they're trying to sell you on something. Now that's where things can become lies or just justifications or different things to sell you to close the deal. Now the thing that will protect you and make you from a beginner novice to an expert really quickly is knowing the price per gram, knowing exactly what you're buying, what the market price is, what the weight is, what the ask is. Now how we do that is the price per gram. I've been talking about this for five years and it's helped thousands of people shop online and know exactly what they're buying and feeling comfortable. That's exactly what Jacob, that's my purpose with this channel is trying to inform you guys. So let's break it down with the three millimeter 22 inch diamond cut Franco chain. One of the most expensive price per gram items on the website for chain for basic chains. We have at 22 inches a list price at $1,650 US dollars. That is for 14 karat gold. Now let's take the weight of this chain. This is what we're gonna do. If you're in a store, you gotta see, you gotta get a scale and know exactly the weight. The 22 inch is an approximate gram weight of 27.7 grams. Now if we divide that total, not shipping taxes, we just do 1,650 divided by the 27.7 grams, we have a price per gram of $59.56. With that price per gram, what do we do with it? What do we know? Well, we know the price per gram of a three millimeter diamond cut Franco on Jacoji.com is around $59.50. Now, I don't usually like giving prices or price per grams because in two months, it's probably gonna be a different price per gram, but that is today, June, whatever it is, 2021. That is the price per gram today based off the last batch I bought. Gold was a little bit higher, it's down a little bit more. So let's take a look, and again, we all have phones. There are apps that are available for phones. There's gold price, or you can do a quick Google search. What's the live market price program of 14 karat gold? On my app, Gold Tracker, it is $34.89 per gram right now. That is the market price as I'm doing this video. It's live, that's the good thing about gold. So we know that Jacoji's charging $59.50 for their three millimeter dime cut Franco. The ass market price is $34.89 per gram. That's about a $25 per gram markup. This is a video explaining why the three millimeter diamond cut Franco is $59.50. I can make another video on how gold is marked up and why. I just want to give you guys the facts and numbers. That's the whole point. I don't want to sit here and tell you X, Y, and Z. At the end of the day, the three millimeter diamond cut Franco is $1,650, weighs 27 points seven grams and 14 karat gold gold market is around $35 are you comfortable with that number? That's you as the consumer have to decide, and those are the facts. That's why gold weight does not lie. Jewelers may lie. You have to know your facts going into any buying situation to better prepare and get the best deal possible for you. Whether it's justified paying a markup or not, that's up to you, what you value, what how you wanna be treated, how you want your gold chain to look, and there's so many different variants out there. And reality, guys, when you go to resell that chain, if you buy it today and resell it at a pawn shop, you're not gonna get market price. You're gonna get below that because they have to make a profit. Same with Brayden here. If I go buy casting grains or scrap gold or more Francos, I'm not paying market price. I'm paying above market price because market price is just an indicator. It's not what you're gonna sell for and it's not what you're gonna buy it for. It's just there, so you have to keep that in mind. At the end of the day, guys, price per gram is the most important thing you could apply to when buying gold jewelry. If you go into a store, they don't have a scale and don't wanna offer that information, it's not that they're a bad jewelry store, it's just that you need to walk out and not buy because most likely the price per gram is outrageous because they don't use that method to sell. They're just getting an item for 100 bucks and then marking it up to what their markup is to 350, 400 and trying to sell it. That's just what they're doing. They're running a business. They don't have a line out the door like in and out to sell gold chains, so they gotta mark it up and make it worth their while. There's nothing wrong 
with that. It's just you need to go find a situation where you can know the price per gram and feel comfortable and confident with that. This applies mainly to basic gold items, basic chains, bracelets, rings, crosses, pendants, whatever it is. Like my flooded pinky ring, price per gram doesn't really make a big difference. Obviously, I want to know what the gram weight is, but I'm not going to be like, wow, it's $500 per gram. I'm not going to buy it. I'm buying it for the diamonds, the setting, and all overall quality. So it's a little bit different. Apply it to your basic items, and you'll be very educated and informed and comfortable when buying your gold jewelry. The whole process of buying jewelry is always just really, you know, is it real? Is it not? Is this jeweler? Can I trust them? That's never going to change. So you got to change your knowledge and your thinking towards buying gold jewelry. That's it for today's video. Shop Jacoby, and we'll see you on our next jewelry video.